Hi everyone, welcome to Ice Cream Week of Art at Home. So for this project, we are going to make a puffy paint ice cream cone. And it will dry and stay just like this. If you press hard, it'll crack, but it stays nice and raised up and you can make your own puffy paint ice cream cone. So that's what we're gonna do today. So to do this project, you're going to need a piece of cardboard. This is just an old Amazon box some paper to put it on. I used pink, but you can put it on anything you want. Um, a brown marker, food coloring, shaving cream, Elmer's glue, a bowl, a spoon, and if you have any decorations, they're great. This is just some glitter and a few pieces of old ribbon I have, um, and a button. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is draw your triangle. And I'm doing this in Sharpie, but you can do it with pencil. And then I'm gonna take a circle that's smaller because this will expand. And I'm gonna trace my circle, okay? So I just have an outline. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut out all of my shape. And you might need help from an adult for this, depending on how thick your cardboard is. I'm using my big kitchen scissors, but I, the first one I did I used with kid scissors and it worked just fine too. It just took a little bit longer. Okay. So I have this funny shape. Now I'm going to use my marker to make a crisscross pattern. So I'm going to do diagonal lines that are parallel to each other all the way down. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing just in the opposite direction. That's gonna give the appearance of the texture of the ice cream cone. And if you remember, texture is how something feels. All right, so there's what I have to start with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue this onto my background paper because as you are um, adding the shaving cream mixture, it's gonna expand. So we want something to catch it. Okay, so we'll press it, hold it there for just a little bit. Now you only need a little bit of shaving cream for this. I am on, can you hear that? There's almost nothing left. I'm on the very last bit of my what I have in my craft stock for shaving cream. So I have, I think, just enough. And mine's not even big and fuzzy, but that is plenty. It'll work just fine. And it actually expands as you, as it dries. So you're going to mix about equal amounts of shaving cream and Elmer's glue. And this, this would make probably two or three of these. But I know I'm going to make more than just this example. So equal amounts. You can measure it or you can kind of just eyeball it. And the glue is what keeps the, the shape of the shaving cream. And then I'm gonna add food coloring. This is gel food coloring, but I used just plain old liquid food coloring for this one to make a mint chocolate chip. Um, and they both work fine. And I'm just gonna scrape some of this out because this is getting old as well. Using up all of my little bits and pieces to make some art projects. So we're gonna make this one pink. It'll be strawberry. And you're just gonna mix and mix and mix. And it still looks pretty runny right now, but when it dries, it gets nice and puffy. Okay, it's a nice bright pink. And you're gonna use your spoon to just put this on all the way around. And then you can kind of use your spoon to move it a little bit so that it's 
so I don't need to go off the edges. Okay. So I'm just gonna let this fill out and that's gonna keep moving. And if you wanna make it look like there's a little drip coming down, you can do a couple little drips here and there. If you make it big at the bottom and then just drag it up, that works too. And if you let this dry, you can even do another layer on top. And then if you have glitter at home, you can add glitter to make it look like sprinkles. And then this is just a piece of ribbon I found. I'm just gonna pull off some of the decorations. I can even pull off some of these little pieces. Make it look like bigger sprinkles. Can you guys hear these birds in the background? They're so loud this morning. All right. Use the rest of this just for something fun. And then this one, I had a pom-pom that fell off of something, so I saved it. But I don't have another pom-pom, so I'm gonna use a button. Is my cherry on top. And let this dry, and overnight it will expand and get nice and raised up and squishy just like that one. I can't wait to see what you guys make. I hope you have fun.